Oh, ho, me hearties, a very, very good morning to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. And I thought I'd say hi to every single one of you. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome to our random pop-up this Thursday morning. Thursday, the 7th of April. The time just coming up to five minutes to ten. There we are, fantastic stuff. Good morning, Scotty. Ruben's on first. Yes, Ruben, you are on first this morning. And that is just amazing. Welcome, 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 I say. So lovely to have you with us. And a massive dinky-doo. Now then, you'll see the slight changes in the YouTube title this morning. So there you have it. So have a look at that as well and work out what's what. Uh, good morning, Scotty, says the wonderful Ruben. You are very quick on there this morning. Ruben, just out of interest, do you have your notifications set for that? Because that was incredibly quick. There we are. We just pressed the button. Uh, now, who have we got here? Here's Stephen. Stephen says, hi, Scotty Dinky Do. I'm watching from Istanbul in Turkey. How fabulous is that? Now, am I right in thinking that it's a stunningly beautiful city and that you have the Bosphorus flowing through the middle of it? How amazing is that? Dinky Doo, there's John Boy has joined us. Dinky Doo, John Boy. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Scotty. It's Ryan from Northern Ireland. Remember me? Ryan, of course I remember you. I remember all our TikTokers. You're beautiful, beautiful people. You've no idea how fantastic. This has gone beyond all wildest dreams. This started during the first lockdown as a bit of fun. And it's now a massive bit of fun because everybody is finding out that we're here. There we are. Does the Soviet Union have anything to do with Putin? Well, the Soviet Union is a kind of old-fashioned term, the USSR. Things have changed quite a bit, but uh, I think I think the problem is Mr. Putin is a bit dischuffed with the way things are going in the world. So he thought he'd defend his territory, but I'm not sure that was really the way to do it. We need to sort out the propaganda and find out who's who. But the most important thing we must never do is demonize Russia or the Russian people. So there we are. We just need to find out what the problem is with the leaders. A uh, very busy place, Scotty. Absolutely, Stephen. I'm so glad you're there. And it's lovely to hear from you from Istanbul. I'm here as well, Scotty. Don't be dinging me. Professor Numptyhead, when have you ever been dinged? For goodness sake, what do you think the world should do about Russia? Well, I think they need to say to Mr. Putin, look, uh, you know, don't dodge the chats. Don't think that you're bigger than the rest of us. Come and have a chat. Tell us what your beef actually is. You know, I said this to two vegans that were arguing outside my house one day. I said, you know, where's the beef? Uh, now, hi from Belfast. Good morning, vegan from Belfast. I didn't tell that joke just because you were on vegan. Uh, do you think the Soviet Union should return? Well, no, the old Soviet Union, see, those people have broken away and they don't really want to go back. People are not keen on oppression. And, you know, when world leaders oppress, I mean, look what happened in 1789. They just dragged them out and cut their heads off. Now, that's a bit harsh, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So, I mean, world leaders have to walk a tightrope. That's what it's about. There we are, Dinky Doo. Ha-ha, good timing. Thank you. For, yes, excellent timing, Vegan. It wasn't aimed at you, I promise you. I, I, I hadn't actually seen you there. So there we are. Fit you seeing big stuff. Old school. How lovely to have you with us this morning and a big Dinky Doo from a Scotty McClure. Hello, Shay Shanke. Hello, Shanke. Hello from Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Right, guys, I need you to go on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel and subscribe and tell me what you think of the new title. There we go. And um, I'm here as well. So there we are. I'm here as well, Numpty Heed. Hello from Aberdeen, Leon. Fit like for Aberdeen. Fits, fits on the Fuzio Doos. Fits happening this morning. Are you, are you chaffing a while, lass? I can 
That Queenie there for Aberdeen, Leon Kane. There we are. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. We need follow, 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 follow. And uh, now I've popped up. I need to know an answer. Uh, I was out and uh, took a photo yesterday, did a little video on the TikTok and the YouTube of the transmitter. And, uh, well, it's not the transmitter. Somebody corrected me. It's the aerial. It's the mast. The transmitter is obviously at the base. But we talk about that in the media as the transmitter because that's the bit you see. You see, so that's the thing. And I want you to tell me where you think it is. Dinky do old school dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us. X Cutie, thank you so much for following. Everybody get following Scotty McClure. Uh, so there we are. Uh, morning, Scotty. Dinky do nee bad yourself. Chaff and a while. Are you chaff and a while, Liam? Have you had your breakfast? I, I would uh, suggest maybe a couple of softies and, uh, you know, maybe a battery or two. Yes, and a marawi. Okay, uh, there we are, Nibad. Uh, fantastic. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Big style. Uh, when you come on, you think, get following this guy because this is big. And we're not going anywhere. We're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Thanks to you. <coughs> oh, pardon me, week off there. Well, I haven't taken a week off, just just uh, just a few days. Ah, oh, fine, starving now. I'm starving and ah. I think uh, I think I'll join you. I think we'll maybe crisp up the rowies in the toaster, Leon. Again. Evening, Lord Duke of the Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Is it the Black Hill one, Scotty? Well, not to heed, I don't actually want to say ye or nay at the moment till we have more suggestions. Hey everyone, Ollie from Ireland, dinky do. Ha ha ha, says Leanne. <laughs> Are you loving this, Ken? Uh, oh, she's, she's a great coin nut. Uh, which part of Scotland are you in? I'm in the West Coast, uh, Gibby. You know, so good stuff there, Gibby. I'll tell you who was Gibby was Guy Gibson, the dam buster. Did you know that? He was known as Gibby. Going to the YouTube now, Scotty, to follow you. Stephen McMahon, I thank you so much. And do tell me what you think of the new title. There we are. Can it be Craig Kelly? It doesn't look like it. Well, Numpty Heed, I don't want to say, say I or nay. Uh, because I'll tell you, well, we have a better saying in Scotland. I don't want to say one thing or the other. Ichi. Or ohi. Have you heard that one? I don't want to say ihi or ohi. There we are. Dinky do. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. We get all the utilities there. Did you watch the old film, Scotty? Oh, I'm not too bothered about that, Jim. I think we should disband the old film of Glasgow United. An enemy fighting should get a lifetime sentence and a ban for life from football. So, well, I mean, if they're in the slammer, they're not going to be fighting at a football match, are they? I mean, Fife, Ken, Ken, Craig Kelly, Ken, absolutely not to eat, Ken. Uh, thanks, Scotty, not at all, Stephen. Just so lovely to have you with us, as it is to have all our beautiful contributors. This is very, very special, what we're doing here, because it's laying the trail, laying the basis for a massive world talk show. And as you know, we can discuss everything. I mean, we're selective in our subjects and we feel, I feel, that the mainstream media is failing you. It's not necessarily giving you everything you want. Where are the talk shows? You know what I mean? Have you ever been to Amsterdam? I have been to Amsterdam, Ruben. Yeah, come into house. Welche am Kuppe de Hebben? Eine Wiening mein Klumpen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there we are. Love Amsterdam. So stunningly beautiful. Uh, all right, Scotty, for the for Julian Steph. Julian Steph, how lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do, I say to you. Thoughts on Celtic beating Rangers? Well, may the best team win, I always say. You know, and Celtic do pretty well, don't they? They've been doing very, very well. Uh, could it be the transmitter in Selkirk? You'd pass on your pensioners' day out. Well, not to you, I don't know anything about pensioners' days out, but you'll know all about them, of course, 
on the bus trip, assuming the weather's okay, you can actually see beyond the end of your nose out the bus window. Uh, out the bus window, I say, sorry, mustn't be course on here with the speech. Okay. Uh, morning, Lala, from Martin and Emma. Good morning, Martin. How lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. Martin, tell me what you think of the new YouTube channel title. All right, see if you can find it, Scotty McClue. So there we are. Scotty, I'm at home and sore, still aftermath of the COVID all these weeks. Kareem, uh, you need to get strong and well. Kareem, you've just become a top viewer, and you're sending me these beautiful, beautiful gifts on TikTok. You're sending April. You're sending weights. You're sending a wishing bottle, a mini speaker, a football. How good is that? It's just incredible. Thank you so much. Now, the wish list, what's the wish list telling us? Um, it's saying, yes, I think the wish list is working, Karim. I'll check it out, but it's incredible. Morning, everybody, and a very, very warm welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet. Never scroll and never troll. That's what it's about. Welcome to our beautiful Ruben. Thank you for sending me 20 red roses. That's such a lovely, lovely, generous thing to do. Mm. Uh, hello, Dinky Doo, my lovely wee Mrs. Woman. How are you? I thought you were away touring the country in your bus. That's lovely to have you with us, wee Mrs. Woman. Although you can tour the country in your bus and still watch Scotty McClue these days. You know, there's uh, never say never, I say. Hello to you, I say to you, wee Mrs. Woman. It's so good to know that you're there. Did you say you made a new YouTube channel? Yes, Martin. So there you are. You'll need to go on and see if you can find it. Put in Scotty McClue, see what comes up, and tell me what you think of it. All right, do that for me, please, Martin. Scotty, the cost of living is now kicking in and affecting society. Kareem, of course it is. We're going to have to make very, very big moves ourselves. We're going to have to put the power off whenever we possibly can. We're going to have to think about how do we do without the power? How can we keep down our consumption of gas and electricity to almost zero? So I think you're going to need probably somewhere to charge a mobile, maybe uh, somewhere for the television, um, you know, but anything else, what the fridge probably things like that, but if we cut down to an absolute minimum, when the winter comes, we wrap up really, 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 really warm, you know, because we cannot be paying these prices. It's ridiculous. Scotty, should all TV presenters go back to shut and ties instead of all the fashionable clothes? Well, I'm not wearing a tie at the moment. I could probably find one and put it on, but I'm not wearing one at the moment. Um, but yes, is the answer. I think people need to start dressing up properly, uh, you know. And uh, you know, we need to start trusting our media. The media needs to get its act together and start giving us facts. There we are. Scotty, the cost of living is getting beyond a joke. It's ridiculous, Pinky, you know. Uh, but we could all lose a bit of weight. There's the wonderful Donald Weller has sent me weights. Thank you, Donald. Hey, Scotty. Scotty, where's your favourite place to visit abroad? I think probably Crete. I think somewhere in the Med, uh, you know, if I, if I was going abroad. There he is, the big man, says Graysell. I love the Scots, says Finland. Hello from Wales, from Khmru. Yes, indeed, lovely to have you with us. And I say to you, Yakida and Borada. There we are. Uh, follow us as soon as you can. Thank you very much. Scotty, have you ever been to America? No, but I'm being told, mainly by the American people, I must go and present their late night radio and their television. America loves Scotty McClure. So it could be one for the future. We could maybe do it there. We'll see. Karim, Scotty McClure, uh, they're on about energy bills going up again in the autumn. Is there nothing we can do? Kaleleo, there is lots we can do. We can virtually stop consuming energy and just leave them. You know what I mean? And say either get the price down or, or come and take the whole lot out. 
Uh, Scotty McClue, the voice of World a Radio Talk Show. Yes, Corinne, what do you think of that? Uh, you know, what, what do you reckon? Uh, could I phone you? Well, we're not opening the lines just now, Martin, I don't think. We'll maybe open a little bit later. I just thought I'd pop that up and see what you thought. Let's see what else we can put up here uh, and see what you think. Uh, I'm going to pop up another one here. There we are. Wonderful stuff. Uh, did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? He just needed a little space. I see what you just did there. I love all that sort of stuff. That's my kind of joke because um, we all need a little space and people say that, don't they? Have you noticed those kind of modern speak and people look like, well, can, can I just get some space, please? You think, what, what do you mean some space? You're, there's nothing of you. You're tiny. What do you mean space? I just need a bit of space. I just need to clear my head. My head's getting done in. My head's getting done in. Uh, that's another one, isn't it? Um, no, I think I think we're, we're, we're looking for closure there. We need closure. Uh, you have to move on. Uh, you're going to have to move on. There we are. There's nothing to see here. Are you still on about that? All that sort of stuff. What, I mean, what's your favourite kind of modern speak? that you think doesn't really mean anything. Follow us, guys. Thank you very much, Pimp. Uh, Pimp there. The media would have you depressed. Well, Pinky, this is why we started the Scotty McClue pop-ups and the phone-in, because mainstream media is failing the people. You know what I'm saying to you? So there we are. Hello from California. You could do radio from my camper. I'll make the tea. We miss his woman. You actually can. You know, I used to drive into these big radio stations which had millions of pounds worth of equipment which I operated. And now you just get your phone out. Dinky do, Scotty, how's your day been? Sparkles, the day is outstanding. And it's just getting better all the time as you beautiful people come and join me. Let's see what's happening here. And um, now then, uh, that's better, Scotty. Yes, indeed, I think so. My lecky has went down. I think you mean gone down, numpty head. How did you ever become a professor? My, my lecky has gone down since I left my telly down at the caravan. Well, it will do. And you'll not need much to watch Scotty McClue. This is all the media that people actually require because it's you and me. What's, you know, what's not to like? The thing at the bottom of your writing. Oh, you like that one? I see, yes. I can see your face better. Oh, thank you, Martin. Yes, was it covering my face? Dinky do, Scotty. What did you want to be as a child, Scotty, old boy? Lane, I wanted to be a broadcaster as a child. I built my first radio station when I was nine. You know, and I thought, I'm going to go on television and radio. There we are, fantastic. But I had to do my training, and um, I, I was an actor and a theatrical, all these things. Uh, if we have more turbines or more nuclear power, there will still be people moaning about eyesores. Oh, I, oh listen, there will always be people moaning. Don't think you'll get rid of people moaning. That doesn't happen. Did you hear why the scarecrow was promoted? No, he was outstanding in his field. Oh, I love it. I see what you just did there. Thank you, Sparacles, for joke of the day. I absolutely hate woke. Yes, now we Mrs. Women never hate anything because you're shutting off an avenue of learning. All right, so you never, ever hate anything. But I know what you mean. You can thoroughly dislike. And the word woke is just means nothing. You know, it's woke. It doesn't it doesn't really mean anything. Is it a positive or a negative? If you're woke, there we are. Uh, now, what have we got here? What do you mean is the captions, Martin? The caption at the bottom. I don't understand the words based or ratio. 
Ah, uh, well, no, they're quite old words, actually, spiracles. A ratio of two to one reduction. What's the ratio for the gearbox on that engine? It's a two to one reduction. Aha. Good morning, Scotty, from Sunny Pit Lochry. Hi, B. Dave. I'll come in at 11 o'clock and I'll get a pan of mince. I'll get um, half a dozen beef sausages. I'll get a packet of dripping. Uh, a dozen fresh free-range eggs through the firm along the road. I'll get um, a wee fillet steak for my tea. And I'll get a... I'll get... Now, wait a minute. I'll get a big bone. If I had the dug, I would get a bone for the dug. Would you give me the bone if I bought that lot? That's what we're wanting. It's one of Happy Dave down in the butchers there at Pitlochry. Fantastic. We love it. I wanted to be a broadcaster too. Well, we, Mrs. Woman, newsflash, you are one because you're on Scotty McClure. You'll need to give me a wee phone and we'll get chatting. We ever initiated into a tribe, Scotty? Um, I've always thought the Barbar people, the desert people were very nice. Have I got that right? The Barbars. There we are, that sort of thing. Uh, as a tribe, well, you see, if you're a member of a Scottish clan, you're effectively in a tribe, you know? So that's that's the thing I say. Do you think it will rain for 40 days and 40 nights in your next weather forecast, Scotty? Um, well, you see, I read the Bible, and I see that they said it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, and I think, but this is normal in Scotland. You know, and, and, and you know, it's it, 40 days and 40 nights would be amazing in Scotland. That would cut down in the rain substantially. Uh, so what have we got here? Good morning, good morning. Uh, good morning, why did, I don't know, what's why did, hi, Um Where do fascist dictators come from? Not the sea. No, they're not fascist, Lane. They're fascists. <laughs> there might be something fishy about them, but they're fashion. I remember asking my mother about Sir Oswald Mosley and his black shots, and I said, what was he like, mother? And she said, oh, he was a perfect menace. <laughs> well, there we are. Now then, Robert, you must never assume everybody has your lifestyle. So there we are, and you know I don't drink alcohol. Of course. Thank you, hi, me, Dave. And uh, so there we go. Now there's FIFA. FIFA's selling some junk. Does anybody want FIFA's junk? I think we'll just dump them. There we are. We're just going to block you, FIFA, because I don't think you belong here. There we are. FIFA's away down the Swanee. Thank you, wee Mrs. Woman. Good suggestion. He's just gone his toast. Half-witted idiot. Uh, Pablo has come on. Scotty, you're up early. Did you catch the worm? I'm always up early. I'm just broadcasting early. In fact, yesterday morning, I think we were on at 20 past 8 or something like that. Hello, Scotty McClure. Kareem, how lovely to have you with us. Thank you, do, and a very good morning. Kareem, what do you think of the new channel? It was a joke, Scotty. Uh, oh, I see. It was a joke. What was the joke? Wait a wee minute. It was a joke. Oh, fishes dictators. I get you. Of course it was a joke. Send the trolls down the swanies, says Paracles. Sparicles, your wish is my command. The trolls have gone doon the soiree. Scotty, thank you for doing these live pop-ups. The new name is good. Do you think so, Kareem? I'll tell you, I've had so many people saying, why is your YouTube channel not massive? Because you're huge across the world. And I had a look at it yesterday, and it could be as simple as the title and the hashtags. So the title... Scotty McClue, the internet phone-in. Nobody's looking up the internet phone-in. Well, somebody might be looking up talk show, radio, Scotty McClue, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, who knows, but we'll see, Kareem. It's not the end of the world, but I thought, we've really got nothing to lose because we've only got something like 3,000 subscribers and it's been there for years, you know. A real Anonymous, thank you for my beautiful red roses. Real Anonymous has just sent me a massive, massive gift on the TikTok live. 
and he sent me 33 red roses. Harry Billions has sent me red roses as well. Harry, thank you so much. Harry has just sent me eight beautiful red roses, plus another one. There we are, Dinky Do Fierce. Fierce Confident Soul has joined us. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Harry Billions, what are you like? And Real Anonymous, sending me all these gifts. And there's Harry Tangerine. Oh, my goodness me, I'm getting spoiled on the TikTok, guys. Thank you very, very much for your kindness, your thoughtfulness, and your generosity. Sending Scotty McClue these beautiful gifts on TikTok. Hi from B. Biku. Where's that mud bank? Tell us a bit more. I got to take the kids to the doctors. He's been poorly had antibiotics. Now his walking's not been the same. Working hard with him today, but I want answers, even though he's improving every day. Ah, Pablo. Yes, indeed. We send strength to you and to the people. Azerbaijan. Aha. We love Azerbaijan. Then you know, we are legion. Robstar, Bobstar. How are you? We should rename the old town in Edinburgh to the new town as it's been ruined with the new builds. The new town can then be the new old town. Well, do you know, listen, you've come to the right place, Numpty Hood. If we're ever discussing important things, we discuss them on Scotty McClue's lives. You well know that. So there you have it. Uh, thanks, thanks. Not at all, Pablo. Lovely to hear from you and Dinky Do. There we are. Uh, tell them to take probiotics. Antibiotics are against the body. I know what you're real, real anonymous. Antibiotics are a kind of one size fits all. And as we know with human beings, one size does not fit all. But sometimes if you start them, you've got to get them down. You have to clear the infection. Uh, probiotics, of course, wonderful. Pablo, hope he gets better the wee soul. Thank you, Kareem. You're very, very kind. Kareem is such a nice person. Top of the morning to you, Scotty. Ah, thank you. We, Mrs. Women, Mike's just brought me up a coffee. Another five minutes, perhaps. Another five minutes, we, Mrs. Women. And then, uh, you know, if you want to get on, you need to get on, because you'll have the high dusting to do. Even getting the low dusting done is quite good. Top of the morning to you, Scotty, says Savage Scotsman. Aye, laddie, says Robster Bobster. That's the stuff. We love you in Azerbaijan. Thanks, guys. He had a bad infection, three bugs at once. Hopefully it's just rest and the rehabilitation he needs. Pablo, you'd be amazed at the power of rest and rehabilitation. I've got baby budgies to clean out. We must his women. I used to go and see friends, and one night they left me sitting in their sitting room, and this voice said to me, shut up, shut up. And I thought, who's, who's taking the mince out of me? Not a soul to be seen. Then the voice said, shut up, Maxwell, 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 Maxwell. And it was a beautiful wee budgie that talked, and it was in the same room as the television. So the family were quite accustomed to saying, Maxwell, shut up. Maxwell, Maxwell, have you managed to steer clear of the COVID, Scotty? A touch wood, he says, patting his head and trying to hope not to get a scalp. Uh, up till now, but just who knows what the future brings. We have to have caution at all times. So there we have it. Uh, grow. Thank you, Anom. We are trying to grow everything on here. Scotty, if you were the Wizard of Oz, what character would you have been? Probably Dorothy. I'll have a think, or maybe the wizard. There we are. <laughs> or I might have been a munchkin. Uh, yes, they are little characters. So there we are. They are beautiful. I'll tell you what I did see. I went to the circus recently, and the ringmaster came up and shook hands with me. An absolute delightful man. And I realized who it was. I'd interviewed him on the radio about, oh, almost 30 years before, 20, 28 years before. He said, hello, how are you? I said, it's, uh, it's Scotty. He went, yes, I know. And I hadn't seen him for years. 
and he does a wonderful act with little budgies. And they go on their, you know, their seesaws and their swings and everything. Beautiful, and he's such a nice man. So there we are, and he was the ringmaster. Scotty, I need to ask a question. I got COVID, and I'm not sure if I should go to the football or not. Well, if you're if you're testing uh, that you're clear, then you can go to the football, you know. And if you've had it, I would imagine you'll have built up some antibodies. But I still think we have to be cautious. Uh, there we are. Now, uh, I need to go for the rolls, Scotty. Years ago, there would have been papers in that statement. You go for the papers. Nobody seems to bother with the papers. Away down. So there we are. Dinky do there. Scott has joined us. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Scott. How lovely to have you with us. Has everybody followed me? Uh, are you famous, says NCFC? Well, NCFC, I've never called myself famous. I mean, obviously I am because two billion people know Scotty McClue worldwide. Uh, so that's like a quarter of the world's population know about Scotty McClue. So that's pretty famous. But I've never sort of called myself famous because I'm just Scotty McClue. And that's it, really. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so uh, we'll see what happens. We might be more famous if everybody subscribes to the YouTube channel and follows me on TikTok. Uh, Real Anonymous, that's what it means. No wonder I'm tired, says we, Mrs. Women. No wonder. Uh, I have five budgies right now and a parrot, the dog and the husband. They all keep me very busy. Who's the biggest talker? Because, you know, I mean, the dogs talk. They, they, they might not sort of, uh, they might be kind of non-verbal. But boy, does a dog talk. I used to say to Clyde, I were going down to the park, Clyde, and he never, ever barked the sweet dog. And he would go, oh. so do you want to go to the park? Oh. You know, all that sort of chat. Uh, so there we are. So I want to know if the parrot, the budgies, uh, the husband, or the dog is the biggest talker. There we are. They all keep me very busy. Uh, Scotty, can you name three Jimmies? Of course I can. My dear old friend, sadly no longer with us, uh, Lord Gordon of Strathblane, Jimmy Gordon. Yes, the former managing director of Radio Clyde, very successful in business, and uh, ended up in the House of Lords. So Jimmy Gordon. Then uh, who else have we got? Um, my dear, my dear, wonderful band leader, Jimmy Shand. Jimmy Shand. Sir James Shand. Uh, just tremendous. So there's another Jimmy for you. And then when I was we, there was a lovely folk duo called Robin Hall and Jimmy McGregor. And Jimmy McGregor, I think Jimmy's still with us, uh, became an outstanding broadcaster and used to do McGregor's Gathering on Radio Scotland. And then I think they changed it to The Gathering. Uh, you know, and that was Jimmy McGregor. Robin's no longer with us, sadly, Robin Hall, but they were lovely. They used to sing songs like Coulter's Candy. Ali Bally, Ali Bally B. There we are. Wonderful stuff. Uh, Robin Hall and Jimmy McGregor. So there's three Jimmies, three Scottish Jimmies from uh, from uh, one from the East Coast, Ochtar Machte and East Weems, and the other two from the West Coast. There we are. Jimmy Gordon, Jimmy McGregor, and Jimmy Shand. How have I done with that one? There we are, wonderful stuff. Uh, now, who have we got? Uh, Dinky do, we miss his women, he's the man. The husband does talk. Uh, does that count? The husband talks. Absolutely. Yes. Does he repeat things that you say, Mrs. Women? So you say, would you like a cup of tea? Does husband say, cup of tea? Would like a cup of tea? Uh, I've met many ringmasters. Some are noble. 
So there you are. Real Anonymous, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the ringmaster of the circus. This man is very, very noble. And uh, the parrot's the biggest talking. He shouts, hello. Take up, take up. A boy. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Do you see I voiced two pheasants in the garden of the TikTok videos? <clears throat> and there's one, Jimmy, we won't mention. Oh, savage Scotsman. We will never, ever mention him again. See you, Jimmy, dinky dear, sitting in your mammy's knee, greeting for a wee bobby to buy some Coulter's candy. That was it. Now, uh, there we are. I don't know anything about that savage. I've never come across a ringmaster uh, and that sort of stuff. Hi, mate. Uh, you're from the Highlands. Well, I suppose I'm more from the Lowlands than the Highlands. But if you're from the Highlands, I'll greet you. With our garlic greeting. I'll say to you, Kamra Haum, ha 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 ha, Falchi, Falchi, Ki, Demile Falchi. Done uh, TikTok, I guess YouTube, I guess Twitch. Yes, indeed. Uh, are you a taxpayer? If you pay tax on your betting slip, yes, not to heed. I just imagine you are. Scotty, love the video about law, the law village. I would dodge every day to have a look at that to put into YouTube Scotty McClue Law Village. <laughs> Did you get a smile, Scott? Now, even if Scotty doesn't want to acknowledge it, I still respect him. Real Anonymous, I respect you. Fantastic. No problem at all. There we have it. Um, dinky do. Come and join us, everybody. Lovely to have you with us and very, very warm welcome to you. Uh, what was your claim to fame before you were famous, Scotty? Um, my claim to fame before I was famous was um, I got to be the assistant general manager of Pitlochry Festival Theatre. I worked for four years with Scottish Opera. I worked for five years in a bank. All these things, you see, it was wonderful. Um, in fact, I'll tell you, I was seeing they've just reopened the Burrell Collection in Glasgow. <clears throat> and I was the master of ceremonies at the original opening of the Burrell Collection when they, they first stopped to, started to form the collection. I introduced the first curator. Uh, what do you think of Channel 4 getting privatized? I'm anxious about it, Tad. And I was also anxious about how little the uh, politicians knew about it when they were speaking in the House of Commons the other day. So uh, I, I wasn't impressed with that at all. I'm a great fan of Channel 4 because the question, Channel 4 News, in fact, I, I hope I don't get shot down by the other mainstream broadcasters here, but Channel 4 News, I would have said, was the most outstanding news particularly presented by John Snow. <coughs> so it was very good for putting people on the spot. Brilliant, brilliant journalism, you know. And uh, I did think about working for Channel 4 at one point. So there are, and may still well do. Who knows what the future brings? But no, I don't know about the privatization because what happens? <coughs> I've been part of commercial television and radio channels when they've been bought. And I've never seen that purchase as a good thing for the channel, right? I've never actually seen that as a good thing for the channel. It doesn't work out well because a lot of people who purchase assets start to strip them out. How can we do this a lot cheaper? And of course, the quality and the value then drops. And uh, a lot of the people involved in that are business people and not media people. And that's a nuisance as well, because they don't understand what they're dealing with. Uh, you know, so uh, I'm afraid um, yes, we'll see. We'll see what happens. 
But Channel 4 as it stands is an excellent broadcast channel. That's what I will say to you. And we'll see what the future brings. But what can happen, it might just go to some huge autonomous company who pay the money because it's not actually big money they're looking for in terms. And I mean, when you think what we've lost on Brexit, when you think of the cost of the pandemic, when you think of uh, you know all the things that are happening, that when you think of the inflation now and that sort of thing, you think, for goodness sake, what's going on in the world? So, you know, I think the figure mentioned is not what I would call huge money for a massive media asset. What's been built up as a massive media asset? And I personally knew the people that set Channel 4 up, you know? It was great stuff. And I remember they housed the advertising side of Channel 4 within the ITV companies, you know, and they would transmit it. There we go. Now, what have we got here? What's your views on the TV license? Um, well, it's not I pay my TV license because you've not really got much choice. You could have the television removed. Uh, but I pay my TV license because I quite enjoy a lot of the BBC's output as a certain point of view. So you're getting a lot of radio stations and you're getting several television stations, uh, in some cases too many, I think, uh, for your for your money, you know, from that point of view. But I don't think it should be obligatory. So there you are. That's what I'm thinking. Perhaps, you see, when the BBC was set up, you were paying your license to the Postmaster General. Yeah, because the government wanted control of the airwaves. But now things have changed. I mean, here are we sitting probably getting more viewing figures than your average radio television station. Well, radio won't get viewing figures, obviously. But your average uh, one of these uh, television stations that you flick through that you always scan past, you know, as far as you could be a non diploma, how long would it take before you apply? A non diploma. Well, you don't have to apply. A non diploma is just as it says, a name of the pen. So writers use a non diploma. So you might have a writer that's called one thing, but that's not actually the name. You see? And they say, oh, what about, do you read books by. Uh, Andy Partick, and you say, yeah, he's amazing. I wonder, if he, yeah, his, his, his real name is Jimmy McWhackle. Do you read books by Andy Partick? Yes, I do. Well, it's actually, it's not a guy. That's that's a lady, uh, you know, called uh, Shane of Anne. Uh, I mean, the tax name. Oh, I don't know anything about that, numpteed. So there you have it. An omnibrim. You can change your name by uh, by deed to poll. I know. I know you can do that. Um, you know because there was a guy. I think his name was uh, Jimmy McFart. You know, and he thought it was not terribly appropriate. People laughing every time he said, "What's your second name, sir?" It's it's McFart, Jimmy McFart. You see, and uh, so he changed that name, I know, and he's now uh, Willie McFart. So that, that was successful, I would imagine. Uh, I started writing a book, I'm 64 pages in, good one, me, this is woman. McClure started writing a book, you'll get chapter one on YouTube, Scotty McClure, Deliver Us From Evil. You'll get yourself on there. So there we have it. How we do? Oh my goodness me! I've just seen the time. There we are. So sixty-four pages. That's great. Now we, Mrs. Woman, once you've written that, you need to look for an agent, a good agent. It's fantastic, uh, and and see if you can get that out there. We were just about to publish a book, and we're talking right to the top people when Scott FM decided to axe the Scotty McClue show. 
how mad was that for them? You know, it was an inconvenience for me at the time as well. But I went home and the phone rang. And this was a big media boss. And he said, what happened? I said, I don't know. He went, well, this is, that's a new one in me. That's madness. And then he said, you'll love this, guys. He said, I can't start you tomorrow. It'll be Monday now. So I was actually out of work for, I think, three days. Was it two days or three days? I can't remember. So there were, I meant the non-denom. Non-denom. What are you on about, a non-denom? Professor Numpteed, you need to do a little bit more in the explanation department, I would say to you. Uh, can you recommend any? Yes, I can, we, Mrs. Woman. I won't be so as to do it online. But uh, there's a top Scottish agent who's very influential all over the world. So, you, you know, you could speak to them there in Edinburgh. Just look up literary agents uh, and see. There's a lovely book that has got the artist's yearbook, I think it is, something like that. But you'll get stuff online as well and have a look. But they will say to you, if, they, if they'll be quite brutal, they'll say, no, that's not for us, but that doesn't matter. Don't you lose any heart over that. Or they'll say to you, this is great. Uh, do you have any more? And if you say, no, I've only got 64 pages, then that's no use to them because they are wanting to flog the book, you see. Uh, so thank you. Not at all, we, Mrs. Woman. You're very, very welcome. Because I spoke to one uh, about uh, stuff I'd written, and he was very, very excited. He said, Scotty, do you have any more of this? I said, well, I, I, I need to set it down. He said, well, let me know when you've set it down. So there you have it. My book's a bit racy. That's fine, we Mrs. Woman. Uh, so there you are. You'll, you'll, you'll have people like, um, what was his name now? Uh, oh. The engineer on the vital spot, the puffer, Dan. You love Dan reading it. Uh, you know, he liked uh, Lady Cynthia strikes again and all that. I'm only about a quarter of the way through it. Excellent read, Mrs. Woman. Well, you get that down there and just have a good read over and have the courage of your convictions, as they say, and start seeing what agents think. Um, a true Scotsman wears boots under his kilt, correct, John Kelly. But in actual fact, a true Scotsman did not fight in his kilt. In battle, he fought in his, his, um, his, uh, his shot tail. There we are. Uh, wonderful stuff. It's about me, but I've written it as another. Excellent wee Mrs. Woman. So it's not actually an autobiography, and nobody's going to know. It's wonderful. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. That's what we like. Yes. Any, 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 any representation to people alive or dead is purely coincidental. That's all that stuff. Brilliant. Thank you, John. The wonderful stuff. Uh, now, who have we got here? Kareem, thank you for sending me these beautiful gifts. Kareem is one of the most generous people on the planet. And I mean, not just generous to Scotty McClure on TikTok, generous as a person in the way he thinks and in the way he acts. A very, very kind person, a kind man. Thank you very much. I'm just looking at the time. We've got a few more minutes, and then we shall have to do one. We'll have to disappear. This morning has been an absolute joy, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Just a complete and utter privilege being with you. And I thank you. And thank you for all your lovely gifts. So good of you. It's very, very much appreciated. Uh, did you ever read about the Greenwich Catman? Yes, I did, we Mrs. Woman. Very interesting. Yes, a bit of a soul. Goodbye, Scotty. Take care. Not at all, Kareem. I thank you. Uh, I hope you had a safe journey back. And I'm dying to know if you managed to check out the wee ruined chapel at Rothy Marcus. Not easy to see that, you know, where Lord Wreath's ashes are scattered. Uh, you know, either scattered or buried. I don't know. I can't quite remember. 
Uh, it's non-DOM. It means you don't have to pay tax. You can apply for a non-DOM status. If you pay tax in another country, original question. If you're going to have non-DOM status, then would you apply for it? Ah, uh, I get a bit upset at how much tax I've paid over the years. I mean, I've given fortunes to the country, but I don't actually mind paying my tax. Does that make me mad? Am I a simpleton for paying my tax? You know, non-dom, I've got you now, Numpty Heat. I wasn't sure what you were talking about, but in that context, yes. Uh, because most of your media barons are non-doms. They know they take the money out of the country, but they give nothing back. You see? So that's it. Their businesses are here, but they're registered somewhere else and they don't pay tax. And I think the government should step in and say, listen, you have to pay your tax. If you've made your money here, you have to pay your tax. Never mind your non-dom. Even if you don't live here, if you're making money out the UK and out the people of the UK, pay your tax. Now, donate to charity before tax quarter to keep it from the tax man. I know what you mean, we Mrs. Woman. Scotty, my favourite man in the world. Good morning. Susie, babe. How lovely to have you with us and a very good morning to you. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue. We've had the most amazing live pop-up this morning. Just incredible. Now then, uh, thank you, Donald Weller. What are you like? Donald's just sent me a treasure box. Is that not just outstanding? Thank you for that, Donald. That is very, very kind of you. Yesterday, you sent me four. That's five treasure boxes you've sent, Donald. I'm just tipping you the wink so that you know how generous you are being to Scotty McClure. Fantastic. Thank you, do. Uh, thank you very much for following us, everybody. You've not been in my life for a wee while. You miss me, Susie, babe. We always miss you. Even if we're not in your life for a minute. We miss you. Lovely to have you with us. And did you do Donald Weller? What are you like? He's sending me 10 weeks. Donald, you're very, very generous. And it's it's appreciated. It all goes into a pot at the end of the day. Thank you for all your kindnesses. And we've even had people tapping the dollar at the bottom of the YouTube chat and sending me pennies. I mean, that is beautiful. You're such a sweetheart, Scotty. Not at all, we, Mrs. Woman. You're a sweetheart as well. And we love. There are a lot of beautiful people out there. You know, I've told you before, I won't go there. I've only met one bad man in my life. And that was a guy I had the misfortune to work with. And he took most of my life savings off me by hook or by crook. Uh, Scotty, I just got into uh, isolation. On the first nice day of the holidays, Patrick, I'm so sorry to hear that. And of course, if you're isolating in Barra, you know, you'll have to just stay in the house, I would think. I read about that. Very sad. Not at all we, Mrs. Woman. You know, we will come back, uh, you know, but, uh, but it's, it, there was no need for it, if you know what I mean. And it, it really, I should never have trusted that was the problem. It's the trust. So I've worked with so many people, we Mrs. Woman, that you could trust. And that's huge. My mother used to say you can beware of a thief, but not a liar. And this person was a thief, a liar, and a cheat. And, um, you know, had, I would have said, uh, psychopathic tendencies from that point of view. You know, and uh, narcissistic disorder. Uh, karma comes around. Oh, we miss his woman. Does it not just? You see, I've actually witnessed karma in certain situations, almost immediate karma, and it's it's what I would call social karma. It's somebody that's tried to blank me because they thought they were far more important. They thought they were above me, and I thought, oh, you're not speaking fair enough. And then over comes somebody very, very, very big and 
you know, gives you a hug or shakes your hand and says, so lovely to see you, Scotty. And this other dafty is left going, <laughs> I didn't know you two knew each other. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, there are these things. Should we encourage more electric scooter use in our cities to help reduce pollution? No, not to heat. The cost of fortune to charge. What we need to encourage is Shanksy's pony. That's what needs to be encouraged, not to heat. <laughs> I love it. Oh, wonderful wee Mrs. Woman. And of course, I have to keep a straight face. You know, I have to keep a straight face. You know, I, I mean, I can remember this particular woman. She was kind of halfway up the ladder in, uh, in television. And she blanked me. Uh, but she absolutely worshipped this other person. And then she walked past at an evening dinner. And, of course, I was sitting at the table with this other person. So I called her over and introduced her to the other person that she absolutely worshipped. And I've never seen such a laugh in my life. There we have it. Dinky do. Karma comes around. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Very important. We've only got another couple of minutes and then we'll have to push off. I walk everywhere. God never gave me a driving license. He gave me legs. Susie, babe, you keep yourself fit, my dear. That's what it's all about. Uh, so there we are. Or as in Aberdeen, they would say, keep yourself fit, like. There we are. It's absolutely wonderful, isn't it? Tremendous stuff. Who else have we got here? Liam's followed us. Thank you, Liam. Uh, yes, indeed. People think they're superior. It never ends well. It does not, we, Mrs. Woman. And when I'm talking to somebody, say I phone somebody, I never say, it's Scotty McClue here. Because they might say, sorry, I don't know who, who, you, who you mean. So I'll, if I'm talking to somebody, I'll say, I don't know if the name will ring a bell with you. Scotty McClue. And nine times out of ten, they go, oh, I can't believe it's you. All that sort of stuff. Great fun. Good morning. So, Susan, good morning, Susan. How lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. Uh, should we lower the standard age of driving by a few years to stop criminalising the young? Do you mean the ones that steal cars? I don't think so, not to hit, you know. Uh, there we are. You're a national treasure. Oh, we, Mrs. Woman. You're a national treasure. Wait till your book's published. Ooh! Fantastic, and we'll, I'll get a hot chocolate on here, and you can make one of the hoosts, <laughs> and we can go, cheers, talking of which, I haven't touched my Scottish water, a large one, Christopher, what are you doing, brew, Christopher's sending me a huge number of Aprils, Aprils, Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to have to say goodbye to our beautiful TikTokers, Brew. You've just become a top viewer. Christopher, thank you for my 20 beautiful Aprils. And I've got 3,500 likes. How amazing is that? I'm going to have to go, guys. We're out of time. Just remember, I love you. And there's not a thing you can do about it. <laughs> Dinky do. Stick out your tongue and say ta ta. Have a wonderful day, you too, wee Mrs. Woman. Thanks for following. Thanks for the lights, Chris. It's brilliant. Papa.